Hey everyone, it's Thad here, producer of the History Dweebs podcast, bringing you a new venture, History Dweeb Shorts. And what History Dweeb Shorts is, is looking at snippets of history, origin stories, etymology, uh, examining where certain things came from, or why things are the way they are. So this is our first installment. Hope you enjoy. You show me someone who says fire trucks aren't cool, and I'll show you someone who doesn't like America or apple pie. Fire trucks are big and loud, and they're bright red. But why are they bright red? Think back when you were a kid, going to a Memorial Day parade, a Fourth of July parade, Founders Day parade. Anytime the fire truck came down Main Street, there, it's big, it's red, and it's loud. You probably covered your ears, but they were cool. And kids love fire trucks. If you've seen the movie A Christmas Story, you know, Christmas morning, they go down to the tree. Of course, Ralphie's looking for his gun because at this point, all he's got is that really terrible pink bunny suit. But under the tree is a red fire truck for Randy. And that's like one of the first things he goes and plays with. He loved that toy. So the question is, why are fire trucks red? Well, there are a couple possibilities. So one theory is that fire trucks are red because red paint was cheap. But that's not the only reason. Today, we have a lot of volunteer firemen, but in the 1800s, almost all firehouses were exclusively volunteer-driven. There wasn't a lot of money to go around for supplies. I mean, again, these guys are volunteers. They weren't being paid. There wasn't a lot of money for anything to go around, and that included paint. So when you're looking for cheap materials, you want to find the cheapest paint you can find. At this time, red paint was the cheapest that you could get anywhere. Red paint was cheap because the main ingredient is iron, and iron was plentiful. Iron is plentiful because it's the final element that comes out of when a star dies. Hmm, how tragically romantic. Picture in your mind a rainbow. Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Something we all learned as children in elementary school. Well, first color, R. Red. It's red. Red has the longest wavelength. With having the longest wavelength, that means that's the color that reaches your eye first, and your eye recognizes that before any other color. The idea being that red hitting your eye first, it's going to stand out, and you're going to see that before you see anything else. A third theory is that the color red stood out from the black drab of car color at the time. In the early 1900s, Ford dominated the United States with the cars that were out. At the time, the most popular, affordable production car was the Ford Model T. And as Henry Ford said, you can have whatever color you want as long as it's black. So imagine a Lowe's parking lot, and there's nothing but black trucks out there. What are you going to see first if there's a red truck there? Your eye's going to immediately divert to that. That's the idea. You're driving down a road, and there's four or five cars, and they're all black because that's all that Ford made, and it's the most popular car. If you see a red truck coming down the road, you're going to notice it. So whether it's a combination of all of these or one or even possibly something else, I think we can agree that through science, science has explained that red sticks out. It's the longest wavelength. It reaches our eye first. We can see it easier. In the daylight, it shows up, and it really shows in between dark colored cars. So when you see that red, you're going to know that you need to get over. Because what else does the color red do? It increases your heartbeat, kind of makes you a little anxious. You see that behind you. Even, even without the sirens going off, you're going to get over. So red is a big, bold color. And for these reasons, and maybe a few more, that's why fire engines are red. Don't forget to check out the History Dweebs podcast online, wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you enjoyed this, Please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great one.